it's time for school. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. Hey, good morning guys. So I just got Lila dropped off at school. The next mission for the morning was to head to Starbucks because this week all of their pumpkin flavored coffees came out for the first time this year. And I do love me a pumpkin cream cold brew on occasion in the fall. It's been out for a few days and I haven't gone to get one yet. Um, I definitely had anxiety about like the lines and the craziness that I was hearing about the pumpkin release. And I'm more of a day two pumpkin release girl. I will wait and avoid the craziness to order mine. Sorry, the sun's really bright here. I just ordered my pumpkin cream cold brew. This funny story is actually the second Starbucks I went to this morning. After I dropped off Lila, I went to the one that is closest to us and I found it a little suspicious. There was no line at all because it's typically a really busy Starbucks. So I got in line and they were all out of cold brew for the morning and it was only like 9 a.m. So apparently they probably had a big rush this morning. Um, so because little Miss Nora, I don't know if the sun is you guys can see her, she is napping in her car seat and she is not a kiddo who transfers easily. Like if she falls asleep in her car seat, the second I pull into the driveway at home, her eyes pop open and she is awake and done with the nap, whether it's been five minutes or an hour and a half. I wanted to get her a little bit of a better nap in since she did fall asleep in the car. So I was like, you know what? That's okay. I'm not going to spend $8 on something I don't want at this Starbucks. I will drive to the next nearest Starbucks, which is only about another 10 minutes away and to get my pumpkin drink there. So we did a little car nap road trip. We got it. It's just as good as I remember it. So this is just the original ordered as is pumpkin cream cold brew. It definitely packs a hefty amount of points for a coffee on WW, but ordering it for the first time this year, I just wanted to get the original as is. In the past, I have swapped out. There's um, a vanilla syrup in the cold brew, and you can swap that for sugar-free vanilla to cut back on some of the points for WW, or if you want to be like a little bit good, but a little bit bad, you can order it with like half sugar-free vanilla and half chai, which is such a yummy fall twist, like the chai and the pumpkin together in the cold brew. So good. I am not a big pumpkin spice latte girl. Like I just am not really into the pumpkin spice flavor. And normally you guys see me actually go to Dunkin' a lot for coffee for like their iced coffees and cold brews. But in the fall that switches over to Starbucks because specifically of pumpkin stuff. I just do not like the taste of Dunkin's pumpkin coffee drinks. There's some sort of a weird aftertaste to me that I just don't prefer. So Starbucks has my heart when it comes to fall coffee. Although I should try this year, now that I have my Nespresso, last fall I had cut back way on coffee because I was pregnant with that one. Um, and I didn't really try a lot of fall coffee drinks with my Nespresso machine. And I have the frother, the Arachino, I think it's called, um, accessory where you can make your own hot foams or cold foams. So maybe we will try making our own version at home of the pumpkin cream cold brew. I bet I can do that and tweak the points to be a little bit more point friendly on WW and also save some money because Starbucks. Gotta do the swirl. She's awake. We're home. Hi, you. Did you take a great nap? Oh, those eyebrows. That's what reminds me of Lila. Lila made that same very like serious eyebrow face. 
Serious face. Mm. She did so good napping in the car. I am not going to lie. I just parked in the Starbucks parking lot, enjoyed my coffee, let her take a little snoozle, and then we came home. So Nora got about a little over an hour napping, which is really good for her for the morning. So this little Pina is probably ready to nurse again. And then we should probably get you dressed for the day. You've been hanging out in your jammies. Yeah. I've been leaving her in her jammies when we go take Lila to school because I think it helps her go down for her first nap of the day better when she's like all cozy and warm in her jammies still. So I'm going to nurse her, go get her dressed for the day. And I figure I should probably have more than coffee for my breakfast. So I actually have some of these overnight oats jars that I prepped. I've been eating these overnight oats all week and they are so good. They taste just like a cinnamon raisin oatmeal cookie. Into a mason jar, I just put half a cup of rolled oats, a cup of milk of your choice. I did 2% because that's what I have at home right now, but you could easily cut back on points by using almond or oat milk, depending on what your personal points plan is like. I added cinnamon, a pinch of salt, about a quarter cup of raisins, and just a drizzle of like maple syrup to sweeten it up. I gave it a shake and left it in the fridge overnight, and then it's a really nice creamy oatmeal. You can eat it either cold or pop them in the microwave to warm them up. So it's been a great quick option for me in the morning when I don't want to like take the time to cook breakfast for myself. These are all ready to go and still a good healthy option. Oh my, you're yawning again? You just woke up. Life of a baby. Nora, are you talking and playing? Hi, Peanut. She's just been talking up a storm, playing on her love every playmat. She loves this thing. She especially loves the crinkles. Do you like to go kick, kick, kick? Can you kick, kick, kick? Oh, I'm having my oatmeal. I am re-obsessed. I used to do the overnight oats all the time, and I'm, again, obsessed. So I like to eat mine cold. You can't eat these hot. I've done pumpkin ones before. I've done, like, a coffee chocolate version before, which is really good. So I'm sure I'm going to share some more of these in my next meal prep because I've started prepping a few of these each week. Hey, you. What are you doing with those toes? What are you doing with those toes, guys? She She's sitting on the boppy right now because I was sitting up, like, chatting with her while she was playing. But she is already starting to try and, like, reach for things and crunch up like she wants to sit. Knock it off, you. You're only four months old. You just turned four months old this week. Oh, she's getting so big so fast. I'm also mixing up a little emergency drink. We are officially only on the second week of preschool for the year. And I am already getting a cold. Lila and Nora both seem to be fine, but I've started to feel just like a little congested and stuff over the last night. And not that it's ever a good time to be sick, but I really don't want to get sick in the next few days because we are leaving on our first big family vacation trip to Disney World. We are so excited. We have had this trip in the works for like um, two and a half years. We have scheduled and rescheduled and canceled and rebooked like seven or eight times. We started planning our first Disney World trip for Lila when she was like right around two years old. But Josh had some work conflicts come up with being out of town traveling. So we had to kind of change our dates a couple times. And then the pandemic hit and the park shut down and we canceled and we were waiting for a better time to go. And then last summer, we were finally supposed to go on what this year's trip is going to be. And I found out two weeks before we left, for our big five night, six day Disney World ultimate vacation uh, that I was pregnant with Nora. And just because it was still so hot early September in Florida, you know, there were rides I wasn't gonna be able to ride with Lila. It just kind of seemed too much. So if you guys have been following along the channel for the last year, um, I showed in my walking 10,000 steps a day challenge that we did at the beginning of last September, go to the Magic Kingdom, but we only went to the one park one day. We stayed with Josh's grandma who lives about 40 minutes outside the parks, did the beach and like that kind of little mini vacation because we had already started planning the big one, we didn't want Lila to be so disappointed. So we did go for one day just to the Magic Kingdom last year, but finally I know we're 
probably a little crazy for bringing a four month old to Disney World, but Lila has just been looking forward to this trip. And I think she did realize she missed out on some of it last year. She still had a blast, but she's been asking about like all the Toy Story Land stuff and the rides, like where were those? We didn't go on those because they're at Hollywood Studios and we didn't go to Hollywood Studios. So anyway, we have planned a huge family Disney World vacation. My parents are coming and meeting us for part of it. So this week I've just been knocking out laundry and organizing and running last minute errands to get things together for all the stuff I think we're gonna need on our trip. It has just been kind of a crazy week of trying to start getting everything organized. Crazy but fun. We're all super, super excited to experience our first big family vacation. And it's to Disney World, how fun. But yes, I'm gonna drink my vitamin C because no one wants to have a cold at Disney World. Well, the morning flew by. I'm already in the car picking up Lila from preschool, so. There goes that morning. Nora just kind of played around on her playmat and sat in my lap while I finished editing a different video that's already been posted for you guys. It was an Aldi grocery haul, so check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, we're grabbing Lila, and then we're gonna head home, and I should have done this this morning, but luckily I can use the high setting on my crock pot and get some chicken with taco seasonings prepped. I think we're gonna do burrito bowls for dinner tonight, so we'll get that prepped as soon as we get home. And we're back. I have both girls down for some quiet time. Nora is napping upstairs in her pack and play. Lila is taking some quiet time in her room. She either does either a little bit of time on her iPad, watching PBS or a movie, or we'll just do like book time and quiet play time in her room. She's always so tired after preschool. It's a big day and we're still kind of getting used to being at school four days a week in a row. So this afternoon she's taking just like a quiet afternoon of chill time on her iPad. Yesterday after school, we went straight to our neighborhood pool because it is closing next week after Labor Day. So we snuck in one last pool afternoon after school yesterday. So she was seriously tired and needed just some downtime today. So I got the girls down. I got my sink emptied of all the dirty stuff, got stuff loaded in the dishwasher and then washed the larger items. And now I am prepping dinner in the crock pot. So super simple. I just have one, that's one chicken breast. It was so big. Um, I pulled it out of the freezer earlier. So it's like eh, mostly thawed. And then I just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the crock pot just to help with moisture in there. I put a few tablespoons of this taco seasoning I get at Costco. And then technically I'm pretty sure pink salt and garlic powder are in this mix, but I always add a little extra. So I'm gonna cook this on high for about four hours and then shred it. I have some leftover black beans from a different meal from earlier this week in the fridge already. So we'll use those with our burrito bowls. I have some yellow Spanish rice to cook up as like the base of our bowl. We'll probably put in some shredded lettuce, some cheese, some plain non-fat Greek yogurt in place of sour cream and salsa. So everyone can kind of customize it how they want. So I'm gonna get that cooking. Josh is actually on his way home. He's gonna work the afternoon from home, which is a surprise. He knew there were a few things I wanted to run out and do tonight. So I think that's why he's heading home early. So that way he can kind of work and be around for the girls while I head out and do some errands. All right, guys, my nails are looking fresh. I just went for white SNS on my fingers and I have a uh, baby pink on my toes. And I was thinking about it, I can't believe it. This is the first time I've gotten a mani-pedi since right before Nora was born. So this mama was definitely in need of just a minute to get my nails done and have some self-pampering. Feeling all fresh before our vacation now. All the fall. Oh, I can't wait to decorate for fall when we get back from our trip. I just feel like it hasn't been the start of fall until after we go to Disney for our last big summer vacation. Fall, I'm coming for you as soon as we get back in town. George has officially got me if I'm really into this sign. Y'all come back now. You'd never guess I was from Chicago. These candles smell so good and at a great price point compared to Bath and Body Works. These are very similar scents. I love this Hello Autumn one and that Falling Leaves. Uh, apple scents are some of my favorites in the fall. Of course, I have to take a peek at the baby and girl section, but to be honest, both Lila and Nora need full on new fall wardrobes. I've held off before now. I didn't really do a bunch of back to school fall shopping because it's still so hot here all the way through October and they change sizes so fast, but I'm being inspired to start shopping for fall for them. So let me know in the comments, do you guys want to see baby girl hauls as I do them? Let me know. Hey guys, I am finally home after running my errands. Josh did a great job and got both of the babies to bed on his own tonight. How'd they do? Good. Okay. There we go.
we go. Good. Anyway, we are finally sitting down for dinner. We have our burrito bowls. I showed you guys, I made the taco chicken in the crock pot and then I just made up a box of Goya yellow Spanish rice. We have lettuce, black beans, some cheese, some avocado, salsa. Super yummy, super simple. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I have a long day tomorrow starting to get us packed for our Disney trip. I'm not 100% sure what I'm all vlogging. Maybe a pack with me vlog, maybe just a trip vlog. I don't know what's coming, but so you don't miss out on whatever I do decide to film, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check me out over on Instagram. And until next time, bye. bye. Get up, I always